In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to install Nextflow in a Linux system using Conda Mamba or Marco Mamba. So let's get started. So we are going to use the instruction that has been given here. I'll use a modified version of this. All right. And so you need to make sure that you have Conda or Mamba or Marco Mamba installed on your PC. I have tutorials that show how to install them. So check the description box. You'll find the links to those videos. Now let's open our terminal and then start. All right, so on the terminal, I will create an environment and then I will install Nextflow. So if you want to use Conda, then you have to start with Conda. If you have Mamba, then it should be Mamba. If it's Marco Mamba, then it has to be Marco Mamba. All right, but I have Mamba, so that's what I'll use. I'll say Mamba, create dash N, and then I'll say Nextflow. And I'll specify my channel. So that C is used to specify channel. So I'll start with Bioconda. I'll also use Conda Forge. And then I'll also use the defaults. All right, like this. Then I am going to include Nestflow. So let's type it correctly. Yeah. So this one is the name of the environment. And then these are channels. And then this is the tool itself. All right, so let's execute this command. Let's type Y to confirm. So once we do that, the packages will be downloaded, installed and configured for us. So let's wait for everything to get done for us. All right, next flow has been installed. So we can test, all right. So to test, we will have to activate the environment. All right, so the instructions are here. If you want to deactivate, you will use this. So let's do this. Let's clear the screen and activate. So to activate the environment, I'll say Mamba activate next flow like this. So once we do it, the environment will be activated and then we can run next flow. So to run next flow, we just type this. We are just testing. I'll just do this one here like this. And then I'll execute it. All right. So if you do it, you'll get something like this. All right. You can also test with the hello world command. So let's try that. So let's clear the screen. So with the hello world command, we say next flu run hello. All right. So if you do that, okay, you have some text uh, being shown up, okay, being displayed for you. So once you see the that means everything is fine. All right. So that's how we do it. So now that I have installed Nextflow, I will also encourage you to check the playlist here, which has to rest on how to use Nextflow.